Happy Homebrew Wednesday, folks! Ryan Patrick Murphy here, drinking a little homebrew! Look at that! This is my State Fair Stout. Oh, man. Holy buckets. That is delicious. It's, it's, there's a lot of body to it. I mean, you can see where the head gut was when I first poured it. I kind of forgot to get the camera set up and the other thing up here that I was going to show off today. But, oh man, this is good. It's roasty. It's just a little bit of sweetness to it. Not too much. Just a little dab, probably from the crystal malt. And it is dark. I mean, I don't know if you could get a light through this thing. I didn't even bring my uh, flashlight up here. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a flashlight over here. Okay. Let's check this out. Oh, yeah. No light getting through that. Wow. That is dark. So, man, this is going to be a great beer. I hope that when they uh, pour it, it didn't, it's not a gush or anything like that, but I did carb it a little less in the bottle. This is from the keg, so it's been force carb, but man, it has carbed nicely. Hopefully we'll, we'll see when that, uh, we'll try the bottles out, and uh, that'll be pretty awesome. Probably do one uh, homebrew Wednesday with both the beers coming from the bottle. Um, Really good. I can't even. I don't even want to put it down. Anyway, I uh, I got a delivery today. Um, we got. Oh, I got some stuff here. I ordered something. I, nobody sent me anything. People don't send me things. So, but kind of interesting things for me to be ordering. Just thought I'd share them with you. And, and you may see them, or at least one of them, on a future episode of Homebrew Wednesday. Let's see what we got here. Oh man, they use all sorts of packing peanuts. I hate packing peanuts. I ordered it for this stuff from Austin Homebrew Supply. Why do they use packing peanuts? No wonder they're shipping so much. I don't know, maybe. Now I just gotta be careful of. Alright, so we got. Huh, a bag of extracts here. What it looks like brewing extract. Two two pounds of dry malt extract. I wonder what that would be for. Huh. Okay, what else? I'm trying not to dump this stuff all over the place. A can of Cooper's English Bitter. Yes, yes, folks. I bought a pre-hop kit. So, uh, with it being summer, weather getting hotter, I really don't like heating up my house to where it's unbearable just to brew. Um, my 20 amp breakers are all in my kitchen. Well, in the bathroom, but I'm not gonna brew in the bathroom. Although, there's an exhaust fan in there. Anyway, I, I can't do it. Can't get myself to brew in the bathroom. Especially since I use both bathrooms, but um, I decided to get a pre-hop kit, something I could just stir up easy, keep the uh, pipeline open, and I've never had Cooper's English Bitter. I thought it'd be a pretty good beer to try. Uh, it's copper brown with red hues, blended toasty sweet malt flavors, pleasing floral aroma, thick creamy head, and a firm bitter finish. So we'll get we'll have this for later. <coughs> When the state fair beers run out, or one of them, I guess, or get close to running out. Really, I should have it done before it runs out, shouldn't I? All right, we got something else in here. So, I, uh, now this one is a little more interesting. Um, I kind of saw this, and it intrigued me. I didn't know these were a thing until very recently. Uh, hopefully, there's something else in this box. I think we're missing something in my box, guys. Yep, 
Yeah, I'll have to email them and say it didn't show up. So what we have here, we're supposed to have two pounds of brewing sugar, but um, Brewer's Best Orange Shandy. Have you guys seen these? So I believe, of course, they don't have the instructions on here on the outside. I believe you take uh, about two pounds of corn sugar, or I guess you could use table sugar, maybe. I'd probably use corn sugar. And uh, you boil it up and um, put it into a bucket. You dump this, there's like a uh, syrup in here. You dump that all in and pour more water, get up to I think five or six gallons. I can't remember if it makes five or six. Uh, gallons and uh, add some yeast and you're good to go and it makes oh and there's a flavor packet too I think so we'll make this up someday this might be the next one that we make up just because the wife might drink it too I don't know but we'll see um, it seemed pretty interesting I've never done one like this before or made a beer like this so we'll see how it is maybe it'll be really good now, I can't believe that they would forget to send me maybe it's just in this bag here I hate to think I forgot to order it too nope there's just DME in here I think they just forgot so I'll see it see if I ordered it and I'll just email I'm sure they'll send it to me I'm not in a hurry to brew it so I got plenty of time but yeah, this should be a pretty good uh, uh, beverage to brew up. Oh, it makes five gallons, so it makes five gallons. So that's perfect. It'll fit in the keg. I won't have to bottle any of which if it did six gallons, I'd probably make just five anyway. Well, anyway, I think that's all I got for you this week, folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Guys, bug me. I can't believe they forget. You gotta look for it. Also, just make a huge mess. Yeah, it's not in there. They, they either forgot or I didn't order like I thought I did. But I'll check. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. <laughs> oh, man, that's so good. Cheers, everybody. I'm out.